will consider it. So I want the uh, jury to see that we are putting a blue box on the cuffs. This is so that she does not have access to either of the keyholes in order to pick the lock. She also will not have access to the chain in order to bind the chain. We have this acrylic box restraining her arms so that she cannot get to her arms. There are padlocks that the bailiff is putting on the front of all of these. And our defendant is still going to be able to rip right through all of these restraints. It is something that puzzled our officers for many years, and finally we now will see how a criminal mastermind can escape from all of these. First we have a few more padlocks because we have a piece of flat iron that will slide through the blue box, which again is protecting all of our locks in the handcuffs. And this flat iron will prevent her from moving her hands up or down or removing her hands from the box. Excellent. So if you would please now, as it pleases the court, show our jury and our prosecution how you removed your hands from these restraints. So again, it's very important to see our defendant here. She's locked in from all sides. This here is blocking her from being able to move her wrists around. And she cannot pull out any way. The only holes in this plexiglass box, Your Honor, are for the hands and the way that she has inserted them in here. It appears that she is now struggling with just her left cuff. We are hoping that she will reveal to us in a moment exactly how she's going to get out of that cuff. These are very tight cuffs on her wrists. So there's no sliding of the hands out. Anyone who's in this sort of situation understands that our officers of the law are not that lenient in the way that they put on cuffs, so they are very tight. Do you want to explain to us what you're doing right now, or are you first going to get out of the cuffs? I'm just going to show you. It's actually a lot easier than anyone thinks. So again, we've got our a defendant here who is inside the cuffs. So now what exactly is your process on this? Did you know how to get out of this, or uh, was this something that you figured out as you were arrested? Um, I, these, just, these are really kind of rudimentary cuffs, and even though this looks really fancy and All right, well, let's, conti out let's out continue so that you can get out. It is very important uh, for our prosecution to see and uh, our jury that uh, the blue box prevents her from picking the lock. Uh, because the lock is covered up by that blue box. Our officers put on the cuffs so tight that she cannot slip out of them, and the flat bar uh, has it so that she is unable okay. to move her hands up or down, but you are about to see. Okay, I got it. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Watch closely. All right. This is really easy. Once I do this, it's, you'll see how I do it. All right, and Your Honor, we've uh, hopefully, in exchange for lighter sentencing, uh, learning how this is done. This will help our law enforcement have even better restraints for criminals like this. Perfect. So again, for our jury to see, this flat iron that is restraining her from moving her hands up or down is padlocked on both sides. And this box is padlocked down to the platform with four padlocks, and uh, very commonly used in law enforcement, the blue box is locking those cuffs on so that we cannot pick the lock through the traditional keyholes. Okay. The only thing that she is able to do is get her arm over and just barely touch. Oh, we've got some clicking Listen. going on. I'm listening. Is that it? No. I just have 
have to move my hand over here. Your Honor, as you can see, it is a struggle for our defendant. However, you will find that these locks are completely inadequate to restrain our criminals as such. Watch. And how quickly can you do the second one? Uh, really fast. Yeah? yeah? Let's see. Really fast is in seconds or really fast is in a couple minutes? Seconds. Seconds? Yeah. Looks like that seconds. one was a little, yeah? And there you have it, Your Honor. Uh, completely out of restraints that were supposed to be escape proof for any criminal. Uh, and the secret, uh, our defendant has told me, is in her fists. So uh, she will reveal for you now, Your Honor, what she was able to get through the search with. Uh, our bailiff searched her, yes? Yes, I did. However, she was able to keep something inside of her fists the whole time, which allowed her to do this escape. You uh, are willing to show us now? Your Honor, what do we think about that lighter sentencing? What remains to be seen, I'd like to see what's inside your hands. All right. Let's see how you did it. An ordinary hair clip. With this slid into the gears, uh, into the teeth of the lock, she's able to block them off from the gears and pull through. This is basically worthless if she's out of the cuffs.